it's a good idea to decide early in the publication design process how your document will be printed, that is, with a desktop printer or sent out to a commercial printing service. This is important because the method of printing dictates how the document should be prepared. Desktop printing options can differ depending on what printer you're using, but typically you'll be able to change between composite RGB, where colors are produced by combining red, green, and blue in various ways, and grayscale, which, as illustrated here, uses various shades of gray. But commercial printing, sometimes called offset printing or offset lithography, usually requires specific file preparation. If the publication will be printed commercially, you'll want to consult with a printing professional before and during the design process so that your publication is set up appropriately. Commercial settings are accessed here in the Info category. Color model is one of the areas to discuss with the print house. Process colors, or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, is frequently used. Selecting it causes this prompt to appear. By choosing this last option button, Publisher provides access to the Pantone matching system. Check with the print house to see what they recommend. And clicking OK, saves the choice suggested by the print house. Next, the print service would provide guidance on whether to embed, or not, common system fonts and subset fonts. They should offer advice on how to handle fonts that may not embed due to license restrictions. Publication registration settings is another area the professional printer may want to discuss. Don't worry if these settings are foreign to you, as they are to me. The print house will know what they mean and make appropriate recommendations. On the Page Design tab, it's important to set up the page size in the Page Setup dialog box. As you can see here, page and paper size are actually two different things. I discuss this in a separate clip. Again, if the publication will be printed commercially, it's best to discuss this section with the commercial printer before work begins on the publication in order to get the best results. After setting these things up according to Print House recommendations, remember to save, so the publication is set up just the way the print shop will need it. In another clip, I'll cover how to send the publication to a commercial printer in Publisher 2010.